general formula of sodium is NaOH. That is a chemical formula of sodium hydroxide. Now, other names of sodium hydroxide is caustic soda. Caustic soda. Castner Kalnas are bilateral solution. CLH and Castner Kalner. first second and third now we will discuss about the reaction involves in these cells anode these graphite rods and this is a liquid state and it behaves like a mercury and the solution is NaCl Cl solution okay so this part Firstly, anode is graphite Cl solution. NaOH by NaCl. In this cell, firstly, at there are two ions present plus and and some part much minus also present. So there are two cations and two anions present in this solution chloride ions and hydroxide ions but the discharge potential bigger than OH minus ions so Cl minus ion loses its convert into Cl but write 2 here in front of Cl minus and 2 here in subscript of Cl2 Na plus two lactose and two Na. Amal. We format anode with the reactions of outside cell. Now we will discuss. Cathode, but cathode as well is different. Cathode, which is formed by as we as we observed that center cell is made up of which is a solution of NaOH or we
प्लस सोडियम प्रेजेंट है और वी कैन सेट सोडियम अमलगम एन ए एच जी मॉलिक्यूल्स कम एट कैथोड एंड गेन ऑफ ओ एच माइनस आय विल इंक्रीज इन टू द सोल्यूशन सो टू न्यूट्राइज दिस ओ एच माइनस आय विल डोनेट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड टू एन एच टी टू टू एनो एन ए प्लस आय एंड टू डोनेट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड कन्वर्ट इन टू सोडियम आय एंड मर्करी we can say that 2na plus or 2oh minus form 2s in the solution which come from anode and 2oh minus will react with each other and form 2naoh so overall we can part there is solution of nacl present so we can write na plus and in lower part there is present liquid mercury come at graphite anode and convert into Cl2s. So we can say it will be used up and new formation of NaOH will happen here so we can say overall reaction NaCl now we will discuss about the properties of NaOH properties of NaOH from sodium so it is known as caustic soda next hygroscopic acid has h plus ion so exothermic reaction so there is a removal of
oxide shows amphoteric nature so here we use only those metals which are which form amphoteric metal oxides so as we know zinc form amphoteric metal oxide so we can use sodium hydroxide and form sodium chloride sodium hypochlorite and water now when chlorine react with concentrate or hot nmh that is concentrate and hot nmh solution it will chlorinate and now we can write 6 here and 5 here and main product is sodium chlorine normal NMH or cold NMH then it, it will form sodium hypochlorite but we use concentrated and hot NMH one oxygen by this by sulfur so number of oxygen will be three and number of sulfur atom will be increased by one so it will be as two and charge will be two minus and when we replace oxygen by sulfur then we use thio what this is sulfate and this is thio sulfate ion. and now we can write Na plus and as 2 O3 2 minus this is sodium this is thiosulfate and we write the formula by crisscross method Na2 as 2 O3 this is the formula of sodium thiosulfate so in this thiosulfate and water molecules will be formed.